Welcome back to Easy Electricity. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to swap out a regular switch that does this dining room light and replace it with a dimmer. Maybe sometimes the light is a bit too bright. So we're going to show you how to swap this out. And it is pretty straightforward, a pretty basic thing to do. Nice to be able to do it in your own home. So once the switch is out, one of the first things to do is find which breaker or fuse the switch is fed from. And a very simple way to do this, I have my helper downstairs, he's already got the breaker for me. But a simple way to do this is leave the light on, pull it out a little bit, show you the wire. So you leave the light on, I have a pen tester here, that's actually a very handy tool to have around your house. So we'll put it here on the black wire. Go ahead! And that's it right there. So as soon as it's off, you know that it's safe to work with. So we're going to take each of these wires out. Now this switch is only controlled from one location. It's called a single pole switch. And what we're going to do is install this dimmer. So it comes with some Marettes, these connections, we're just going to match up our red wire with the red wire coming off of the dimmer and our black wire, which is off in the feed, will be maretted together with our black wire off the dimmer. Once you screw the marettes on, the wire nuts, I'm going to give your wires a little tug to make sure that they're tight. Often a dimmer will come with a third wire, and that's what's called a three-way. For a three-way switch, it's a traveler. Two of these wires would go to your other switch, and I'll explain how that works on a different dimmer. Let me just show you on this one here. So if you're going to install, this is a different style. My dimmer here, the slide is just up and down. And then it has an on-off function. This is a different style dimmer. On-off is called the decor style. And then the slide for the dim is right here. Your wires, you've got one black, one red, which would go to your light, and one red and white, which again is for your three-way. The way you find out what wire to connect to what, here it's very straightforward because I only have two, so we'll just, we'll just match up the colors. But on a, this switch, let's say you pull out your switch from the wall and you have three terminals on your switch, three wires going straight to your switch. What you want to make note of is which wire goes to your black called the common terminal. Often on your switch, it'll be a different color. So mark that wire, uh, make note of it. And then when you go to remove it, that common wire will go on your switch with the black wire. So wherever you take that apart, the common wire will be your black wire. The other two, it doesn't matter which you moret here, the other two will go there. And if your switch comes with a green or bare ground like this, you'll want to attach that to the back of the box. Um, I don't think you can see in this one, but the screw that's in the back of the box. Do that one first, make sure it's nice and tight, and then do your other two or three connections. Once in a while, your switch will require a white wire, which I have in the back of this box here. My new dimmer doesn't require that, but sometimes yours will. It's called a neutral connection. And more often than not, with new switches, you'll have to make that connection as well. So put your white to white, your common or your black wire, the feed to the black wire. Just try and match those up. And dimmers do come with instructions. They're usually very good um, at explaining what wire goes where, in case it's a little bit confusing. I'll tighten this up a little bit. Okay, can we get the breaker back on? And there's our light. So the on-off works. And now if you go over to the light, we'll show you how the dimming also works. Pretty straightforward, it's a basic thing you can do for yourself in your house. So just remember to keep the power off 
while you're working so you're not working live. Um, and this is one other thing to keep in mind. If you look at the fixture, these bulbs are actually dimmable. They go on and off nicely without any flickering. Sometimes you'll have a fixture or bulbs that aren't compatible with dimmers. You need to make sure the bulbs will say on them or your fixture will say if it's dimmable. That's when they will work well together. Otherwise, you might actually have to get a different type of dimmer that is compatible with the fixture you have. One other little thing to mention is that now with LED fixtures, they are rated for a certain amount of wattage. Your dimmer will be rated for maybe between 100 and 150 watts, which means if for some reason you have a fixture that takes more than 150 watts, like this dimmer is rated for 150 LED, which is how most um, lighting fixtures are nowadays and a lot of bulbs are LEDs. If your fixture for some reason takes more wattage than that, your dimmer won't be able to support it either. And you'll have flickering or it'll start to heat up, which can be dangerous. So that's it. Just keep that in mind. Um, if you've got any questions, feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching.